cost of living in Greenville, North Carolina in 2025. Well, you're wondering about 2025. So what we're going to do is break down the essential costs of living here in Greenville from housing to utilities to everything else that we can think about for living expenses. So this by, by the end of the video, you have a clear picture of what to expect when you move here. Exactly. Therefore, we're going to break it down to the different section. And of course, the first thing that comes to everybody's mind is the housing cost. And housing cost is the biggest expenses for most of people, uh, including us and you. Of course, Greenville, North Carolina, we have every month's housing market update that you can always refer to based on that. But pretty much for buying home in Greenville, North Carolina as filming of this video, the price actually is something between 237 to 245 the median home value in Greenville, North Carolina. But you can find high prices lower um, and you can find prices a little higher. In fact, if you're looking for new construction, it's gonna start around $300,000 for brand new development with all of, of course, your modern uh, amenities. Exactly. Therefore, of course, we have a different style of homes, brand new townhouses, in the market in the different part of Greenville or Vineville area which is the suburb to the Greenville. Now also if you are moving to Greenville and you don't decide right away to purchase a home you need to also make sure that you are aware of the renting uh, market and in Greenville at the filming of this video the renting it depends on the size of the homes, but then the median home, a median rent home is really something between 13 to 1400. And of course, if you're getting a single family home, we are talking about something 1800 to 2200 with a median of $2,000 per month. Now we're gonna go into utilities, groceries and more right after our introduction. So let's hit it. Hi, it's Alan Victoria. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified. Also, you call text all the time, 252-327-3357. We love talking to you. Don't be shy. Also, grab our buyer's guide and seller's guide in the description below. Now, with utilities. Utilities, of course, it's going to depend on your energy usage and all of that. So, we can talk about hours. We can talk about averages. But, basically, we're we can't tell you exactly what you're going to use because you control your own energy uses. Now, exactly. for a typical nine foot apartment, you're expecting with Greenville Utilities about $150, $280 a month. And this is for basic utilities for all of the above. Now, if you're looking for a home, a single family home with the with our HVAC system, it's probably gonna be 200 to 250 a month. It can go much higher. Our neighbors, for instance, they spend much more than us than we spend on our electric because they use their electric more. So it just depends on, again, that usage at the beginning. Exactly. And I wanted to mention that 80 to 85 percent of homes in Greenville is under umbrella of the Greenville utility. That pretty much you get one bill with the electric, heating, cooling, water, garbage, and sewer all in one bill. That makes it much more easier to deal with, especially also with your finance and managing your finance per mo monthly. But there are some homes in Greenville that they have a different electric like a duke energy or eastern pine water that, that that's also separate from greenville but other the other bill is going to be covered by greenville utilities another thing to talk about is the internet of course it's going to depend on your usage of internet but typically high speed internet is going to be about hundred dollars a month um and this is for typically high speeds you can i, I saw some great deals with sudden link right now and i've seen you know those opening deals with metronet so you definitely can get deals and stay under that price and if you're, it's time for renewal. And if you want to update those prices, again, look for the cost and look for what the pr exactly. prices are. Therefore, at the filming of it, this video, we have really four companies that they're providing the internet in the, our area, as my wife said. Optimum and Metronet are the biggest one. And of course, there are the other two competitors that just came to the market, which is really good because we wanted to have more options for you. And uh, the next thing that we wanted to talk about is grocery and everyday expenses. Of course, if you're looking at the grocery, Greenville is still is in 95 percentile of the national level, which is we are below the national le level with the uh, groceries. But we know that um, this past two years with the inflation, the grocery actually cost went all over the place higher than it was the past two years. But 
uh, my wife want to give you some numbers about groceries. Now, grocery bills can vary wildly, again, depending on your, what you consume, but a typical family of four where they're going to eat meat every single meal um, is going to be about $900 a month, which is pretty much double what we were paying before, but we still have a lot of options. You can make this way more affordable if you actually just shop and look for the good deal. So there are ways to make this more affordable, but it's just the averages that we see right now. So the dining out is the second part because not everybody eats all of their meals at home. And we do have a lot of restaurants around here. It's not a small place. So the average meal at a restaurant is gonna be between 12 and $18 a person. A nice dinner, of course, is gonna be more, 50 to $70. But if you're looking for just that casual you can find things ten dollars you if you have a deal a coupon pay attention to those things because you can get affordable dining out exactly I wanted to bring also the one gallon of milk price here because that's gonna be also criteria for if you live in different areas and at the filming of this video the gallon of milk in Greenville is 246 Therefore, you can compare it with where were you living. Like we remember even in Florida or Pennsylvania, we we're paying like a, over $5 a gallon for milk. Therefore, that could be one indicator for how much grocery actually based of that worth. And he also just went to, just another number we were talking about the other day is when he went to Walmart and he bought home, chicken thighs at 2.98 a pound. We thought, you know what, in this day and age, we're not getting 99 cent deals, but 2.96 is at least way more affordable than Sam's Club where you would get a double price. Just to give you a real number. 3.49, yeah, yes, 3 .49. exactly. Therefore, now we wanna talk about the transportation cost. Therefore, transportation costs anything that is related to car, including your insurance, mechanics, and the gas price. At the filming of this video, gas price is 2.65 per gallon in Greenville, North Carolina. Definitely, this is one of the things that we like about Greenville. Also, I wanted to say the transportation cost is still we are in the 75 to 76 percentile of the national average. You remember when we were in Miami, we were paying like a couple of years ago, even not now, $258 for a car, just one car insurance. Now, if you are thinking what about transportation, public transportation, there is a bus system in Greenville. It's actually free to use. It is something that is not on the grid most people drive around here. So it is something that does exist and I just want to throw that out there and it is a free alternative. Another thing to talk about is healthcare. Um, healthcare, my husband got a lot more to say about it than me, but I'm gonna start it off. Um, we have ECU Medical, which is going to be the heart of Greenville Medical Facilities. Exactly. So if you're self-insured, self you're probably paying $200 to $400 a month for individual health insurance, according to the, the national statistics, but it's going to vary based on the plans. And of course, you have an employee-sponsored plan. This is going to be much more affordable per person. Now, do you want to add anything about health insurance? Yeah, we wanted to also add that the, the number of physician per capita that we have, we have like a 349 physician per capita in Greenville for 100,000 people, which really put us in the high, actually, density of having a um, physician to help with the people's health. And that is also a very rewarding. If you look at even in your area, you know what, what we are talking about. Therefore, this is also one of the benefits. And also we have veteran clinic too in Greenville, North Carolina. For some of you that are your veteran, thank you for your services. But want to say that also beside of that, we have a clinic specialized for veterans. The next thing that we wanted to talk about is the home insurances. Home insurance can vary based on, of course, the square footage of the home. So if you're talking about a 2,300 square foot home, these are bigger homes, you're going to have a little bit more in pricing than a smaller home. Well, absolutely. Now, a regular average home, about a thousand square feet, is going to be a single family home only. 1200. It can be less, it can be more, again, depending on age of roof and so many other things. These are just averages and the value of the property. Now, exactly. Just, yeah. Exactly. Therefore, these are some of the indicators that we wanted to talk about at the cost of living Greenville in 2024. Of course, there are more. And here we wanted to say that the economy is growing in Greenville, North Carolina. More employer, they're gonna come with the more jobs. We have a really great employer and pharmaceutical company around here, including Thermo Fisher. And we love to help you if you are moving to 
down here you want to add anything? Yeah, I just want to say Greenville is actually one of the places that we have loved living. It is just a place where it, it's it's a nice place where we can have breathing room. And it's something that we came from big cities and we love it in Greenville. So if you are considering moving to Greenville, just we'd love to help you as well as my husband was saying. I just wanted to add how much I love Greenville. And don't forget to call us at 252-327-3357. We love to help you with your moving. And if you wanted to get a home here, and we love to help you. And also watch all of our playlists here for buying, selling home, and buying and selling at the same time. And also at the end, don't forget to subscribe in our channel. We love to connect with you and see you next time.